It is frustrating. You've been sat writing lecture notes, trying to learn for the last 12 hours, but nothing has gone in. You don't remember a single word and you're hungry, tired and frustrated. I know this feeling so, so well. In this video, I want to take you through three steps that have helped me survive four years of medical school. These principles have helped me to find balance at university, passing exams without having to devote all of my time to them. Let's go. University is hard. I found myself constantly presented with new information without enough time to process it. And before I came up for air, I was on to the next lecture. You get back, you've got 10 half finished lectures and you're exhausted. And then the cycle repeats. My second year of university looked just like this. And as you can imagine, it was not sustainable. I needed to make a change, but I wasn't quite sure where to start. Here's where I did. Okay, so I've just found this really nice quote from Elon Musk, and it's about learning. He basically says that it's important to view knowledge as a sort of semantic tree. Make sure you understand fundamental principles, i.e. the trunk and big branches, before you get into the leaves, or there's nothing for those leaves to hang on to. Okay, so this led me to my first principle. Make sure you understand the basics of a topic before you try to go into the details. For example, it's very hard to understand all of the ways the brain can go wrong if you don't understand how it's supposed to be working when it's going right. The second point that I wanted to ensure is that the notes incorporate active recall into the workflow from the start. Before, I'd make my notes and lectures and then I'd make flashcards to test myself after this, doubling the work and doubling the time. I'm just making a coffee, but the next thing I want to talk about is the Pareto Principle. Basically, ever since reading Tim Ferriss's 4-Hour Workweek, I've been intrigued by it. So I was wondering if I could implement it into my lecture workflow. But more on that in a minute. Okay, so in applying it to university content, I basically said that 20% of the content must be examined 80% of the time. So make sure that I understand that content first, and then if I have time, then I'll work through to the rest. University often gives you a ridiculously long reading list. So I was not gonna read it all, but instead cherry pick those 20% of concepts that come up 80% of the time. Okay, so I've got my three principles, now how do I implement them into my workflow? This is where Notion came in. Firstly, I'd break down my notes into broad specialities, i.e. the individual trees. Then work through the branches to build a clear picture of the content that makes up each speciality. In my lectures, I can then work out where this topic fits into my overall tree, building my understanding of the context of that condition and also what conditions might have similar presentations to it. In the lecture, I'll then go through the slides phrasing each learning point as a question for myself, completely removing the flashcards from my workflow by incorporating Active Recall from the start. Using the tab function, I'll then write questions and place the answers underneath, then I can test myself on them when I'm revising. If I get questions wrong, they become red, and then I'll use space repetition to make sure that I've reinforced the concepts that I didn't understand at first. Finally, I discuss with tutors, doctors and friends to make sure I understand the most common conditions that present in hospital and those that come up in exams. Each of these topics will then go in bold and orange. That way, when I'm starting revising, I can make sure I know those topics first and then I can work through onto the other topics later. These principles have worked wonders for me in passing medical school exams, and I hope they can help you to improve your workflow, but by no means do I think that they'll work for everyone. If you do give them a try, then let me know in the comments down below. These videos are my way of showing my work. So if you'd like to see more of my work as a student and videographer, then please subscribe, and I'll see you next week.